in this problem we have to find a duplicate number from a list of given numbers so we are given a list of numbers and there are a few conditions that uh, all the numbers will lie from 1 to n both inclusive and there are exactly n plus 1 numbers so this you can find from the size of the vector that is given to you or size of the array so numbers are in this range and one of the numbers not more than one one of the numbers can appear multiple times like 2 2 2 and rest others maybe 4 5 this n is let's say 20 so it will be in the range 1 to 19 1 to 20 then we will have 21 elements so you have to find which number is duplicated not multiple elements will be duplicated so uh, the condition is that uh, you uh, don't have to use any extra space other than O1 that is constant space you can use but not of the other order of number of elements so this is a space constraint and time constraint is that it should be less than O n square and we are not allowed to modify the array so uh, we will see a few algorithms uh, starting from basic and then we will gradually advance so one very simple approach that comes to your mind is that do an in place sort so it will convert to 1 2 2 3 4 so this will take order n log n if you use any n log n algorithm and then you scan this array from left to right and keep track of the previous value here previous value was nothing so it's one different from previous then we come to 2 it's different from previous which was 1 then we come here we see that previous was 2 this is also 2 so we return 2 so time will be order n log n space will be o1 we will not use any extra space but we have modified the array and we have no way of going back to this we don't know which element was at which position so this would work but uh, this changes the array next we will see is that uh, we know that it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 elements are there. So this is n plus 1, uh, which we saw here. Size of the array is n plus 1. So numbers will lie from 1 to 4 only. And you can see that you, you cannot see any 0 here. You will also not see any number 5 or more. It, it's between 1 to 4. So what we will do, we will see what is the size of array, this is 5. So we know that this is more than the maximum value that will be here. So what we will do, uh, we will see that uh, whatever is the value, it will denote a valid index of this array as well. So what is the index of this array? It has 5 elements and numbers are from 1 to 4. So the indices of this array are 0 1 2 3 4 which will always be less than 5 so the numbers themselves denote a valid index so what we will do so we have this original array and let's also put the values although we will modify it 1 3 4 2 2 so we see that when we encounter 1, we go to the index 1 and we add this value 5, whatever was the size of array. So we go to 1 because this is first value is 1 and make it this plus 5. So it becomes 8. So this is now 8. Next index is 3. So how do we get what is the value here? This is now 8. So we have 1, 8, 4, 2, 2. Now this is not a valid index, but we know that we are always adding a value which is larger than the maximum value. So we see that next value is 8. We are iterating this array. So we will take 8 modulo, whatever value we had added. We will always add this value 5. So 8 modulo 5 is 3. And you will notice that 3 was the original value. So this way we can retrieve back the older value. So now we go to index 3 and add again 5 to it. So this will become 7. So let me write 7 here. Next, we come to this value. We take modulo with 5. It remains 5. So we go to index 4. 
which is this index this is the fourth index so we add 5 here so this will again become 7 next we come here take modulo with 5 then the, we get back the older value which was in the original array which is 2 so go to index 2 and add 5 there so this 5 will be added to it and it, it will become 9 so this is now 9 then we come here we see again we have 7 we take modulo with 5 and we get 2 which was the older value so we go back to index 2 and add 5 there so this 9 becomes 14 now we have reached the end of the array so now we will do one scan of this array again and we will convert them back to their original value and we will also keep track of which value is maximum so we naturally see that 14 is the maximum in this array that means uh, whatever was the index whatever is this index which is 2 that number occurred maximum number of times because we are adding a value which is larger than all the original values so uh, if we add this value to any number it will lie it will uh, lie in the range it will be less than 2 times 5 since uh, the value is from 1 to 4 so if we add 5 to it it will become in the range 6 to 9 for the numbers which occur once for the number which occurs twice or more uh, it will lie in the range of 11 to again add 5 here which is 14 11 to 14 or if it's occur even more than two times then again add 5 to it so it will become 16 to uh, 19 so you can see that the numbers which occur once will lie in this range 6 to 9 but number which occurs twice or more will be more than 11 more than 11 so this way we can find which number has occurred maximum number of times and then all of them we have added a constant value a constant number of times so either we have added 5 once or we have added some multiple of 5 so when we take modulo 5 we will get back the original value so we will do a scan of this array keep track of maximum initial initialized to first value so maximum was let's take say 0 initially so we come here maximum becomes 1 and we also keep track of max index so it's 1 and index is 0 then we come here it's more than maximum so next maximum is 8 and index becomes 1 then we come here it's more than 8 so max becomes 14 and index becomes 2 then we see 7 which is not more than this next we go to 7 again not more than this and now we have reached the end so we know that at index 2 we have the maximum value that means 2 has occurred maximum number of times and uh, while traversing this we also uh, keep modifying this array values so 1 modulo 5 is 1 8 modulo 5 is 3 14 modulo 5 is 4 7 modulo 5 is 2 7 modulo 5 is 2 so this is same as the original array so we get back the original array and we have not used any extra space and we have done in order n time so let's uh, write the program for this So we will uh, current maximum so these are the max and max index values
uh, this is the max uh, that will be added to every value n and we are taking n since uh, when we reach some value it may have already been modified for example we had modified this 8 so at when we were at this position so we come here so this is invalid index so we will uh, take modulo so that we get a valid index and we keep adding n so for duplicates it will be added at least two times now we have uh, added this max to all the values depending on how many times they have occurred we went to that index and added this max value now we will uh, scan this array and uh, find at which index max is occurring and we will also be reverting it back to original array value So this will revert it back to original value and finally what we need to do we need to return the max idx so let's submit and the solution is accepted next we will do it in java and finally we will do it in python so all the solutions are in this range if it's it's 2 millisecond so most of the solutions are concentrated in this range only So this solution is also accepted.